guys it's Levi the Great here um, and today I'm gonna do like a voiceover of or a talk over this new move in soccer that I learned it's called the Eclipse now if you don't know what that is of course right now you can get off my video and go search someone else that's better at it but you can watch the struggle and watch the grind of someone who's on the come up which is me because I'm lately I've been really passionate about soccer and um, I've been training a lot on my own um, and that's kind of one of the messages I kind of wanted to put in this video is a lot of people are always like I need to be like a I need all the good equipment I need to be with people I need to they always make excuses as to why they're not doing something when all you got to do is sacrifice your own time and try to do it just put an effort just try if you try and try and try eventually you will get there I literally just sit in my front yard or in my driveway and I have this $5 size 4 ball. It's not even size 5. Those of you who don't play soccer, size 4 is like a little bit smaller than the, the regulation size 5. And um, and it's ripped up to ribbons because I play on the street with it. But guess what? It doesn't matter. It's a ball. I have me. It doesn't even matter what shoes. Whatever, dude. Just If you love what you're doing, do that shit. Don't make excuses. Um... So let's let's get to the video. Let's go ahead. I got my fucking gaming headset for uh, for this video, and um, let's just put it on. Let's, let's go ahead and start this video. Okay. Let's see. So here, and let's begin. Okay. All right. So here, I'm trying to juggle. And I'm fresh. I already actually, I didn't actually record. I didn't actually record right away. I practiced like 20 minutes beforehand trying to do this. In total, it took me probably like an hour or two to do the move. But I had to cut out some stuff right there. I kind of, <laughs> I get excited because I get close. Um, I had to cut out some stuff because obviously you guys don't want a crazy long, boring video. And at times, I would, like, there's certain points, yeah, I just get frustrated. I got close there. Um, I found myself, oh, that would be a cool flick. That was a cool flick, I just didn't complete it. I always put my hands, I don't know why I do that. Um, but yeah, I guess, sorry, I would... I was doing this so much and failing so much, I couldn't even hardly juggle the ball anymore. But I was just like, I'm gonna get this move, no matter what happens. Mm, hit my leg. I start, I hit my like my other leg or or my butt, which is I guess your leg. Why does that have to go on? I said, why does that have to go under the car? I was getting irritated with every little thing. That was it. I almost had it. Come on, babe. Come on. You did. You did. You did. Alright, I'm getting close. I'm getting close. Watching this makes me smile. Uh, this is looking at myself struggle. Uh. Pep talk, baby. No one else is there. Dude, I am so close. <laughs> so close. Hit my ass. That was pretty close. I'm making the same face as I did when I was fucking doing it. <laughs> oh man. It's because it's not flat on my foot. I need to be here. Because I kept putting my foot like down, but my foot needs to be sideways so I can hold the ball on my foot. It's kind of hard to explain. Alright, so. Oh, that was close. By now. I'm feeling it, like, my hip, the ins it was the weirdest type of, like, if you look what I'm doing, I'm lifting my leg in a weird way underneath my body right there, did it over and over and over, 
like the inside, like a muscle I've never felt before was sore for like three days. And by now I was hurting. Hey, and the foot that was like, You hit my ass, bro. <laughs> <laughs> um it hit my ass, man. But um and the the leg I was like, watch, so right here, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. I jump and I I I jump off one leg and then I jump over my leg and I land on my same leg. And my landing leg was getting tired because I kept jumping off one leg, landing on one leg. And my other leg was getting tired because I'm trying to lift and do some weird, awkward motion with it. Right now, I'm just feeling fatigued and pissed and irritated. You just see it. I'm just like, every time I mess, I'm like, come on. Every time I get closer, though, when I get close to doing it, it motivates me. And I'm just like, I gotta get this. I gotta, I gotta do this move. Yeah, right here. I just, I'm kind of losing it, losing my composure, my focus. Um, you can tell I'm just juggling and juggling and juggling and not really doing anything. I, because you have to get the ball in a certain spot. It's weird. Uh, but for some reason, I, I think I was just getting tired. You fucking fed up. Bro. Give me the move. Give me the move. Like someone's gonna fucking have me do it. Can't even juggle. I was a little bit irritated, but I was like, all right, I'm getting close now. I feel it. I, I was feeling it coming. That was great. So that was that was pretty much my struggle, my grind to get the eclipse down fully. I can do it when I do it on foot still. That's when you balance on your foot and I go into it. But I wanted to do the harder, harder version. English Levi English. I want to do the harder version and juggle into it, which is a lot harder. Um, but anyways, that's gonna be the end of this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you play soccer, you're into soccer, you're just now getting into soccer or anything, any craft and any craft at all. You're gonna mess up like a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. But the, those failures get you a step closer to perfection, to being the best you can be, and just improving. Where do you think all the famous people, or all the most successful, or all the best of anything come from? The bottom, and they fail. They were they fail their way to the top. Um, don't mean to get gooey, inspirational, but I just I want people to know that because it's really simple. It's really that simple. Um, I'm nowhere, by no means, um, up to by the top. I used to play travel soccer. I, I started rec, did select. Select is like in between travel soccer and, and rec. And then um, I like guest played for older teams. And then I went to um, a more um, exclusive like travel club called Beach FC in Virginia. Um, it's a little bit higher tier. I was on the B team, not the A team. Um, and then I did the ODP, which is Olympic Development Program. That's the highest I ever got in soccer. I did high school. I did the JV, 8th grade, ninth grade, and then 10th grade. I got to uh, varsity, and then I got expelled because of the bus situation. If you guys haven't seen that video, go check that video. That's a quick plug-in. Um, and so I did high school, travel, rec, select, and then the Olympic Development Program. There's like levels to that where you do district for your like city for your I guess yeah for your city 
and then it goes like region for a couple states, and then it goes national. I don't know, and then international. Um, there's the levels to everything, right? But um, that's kind of like my history of soccer. But besides that, that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like, subscribe, uh, comment, put the notification bell on, all that stuff I need to start saying. And don't forget, I do have other uh, social media that you guys can keep up with me at Facebook. I'll put the link down below. And my Patreon account, if you guys would mind or even like donate just a little bit, it makes the biggest difference. Um, it really does make an impact on my life because I can focus more on my channel. Um, but anyway, anyways, guys, love always. Peace out.